So before this video even starts, I want to say that I made a collaboration video with SK Morphys, Sir Lewis, Manik and Rahuls. So if you guys did miss this collaboration video, I really suggest you to go ahead and watch it, so the link will be in the description below. Hey what's good everyone, it's Inu here, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own outro on Android. So today we are going to be using Kind Master, so if you guys don't have this app that I'm using right now, the link will be in the description below, you can download this from there. So anyways, once you guys download the app, open it up and press on this button which is Media Browser, so if you guys uh, press on it, it's going to give you something like this. And then you should be seeing this backgrounds folder, press on it and go ahead and choose the white background which is this one right here. So also you can go ahead and just make sure that it is as big as you want usually the outros are maximum 15 seconds long but just because this video is a tutorial video i'm going to be making it eight seconds long so the second thing that you have to do is to go ahead to the description below and download the folder called landscape backgrounds so basically i will leave a link in the description below to download this download it and inside of it you will find all of this landscape uh, city backgrounds that you are actually going to be needing or using for today's video So basically go ahead and choose one of these landscapes and just make sure that you zoom it in just like this So make sure that it is kind of covering covering up the whole screen just like that So once you are done make sure that it is uh, like a uh, full time just like that So drag it until it comes full time So once you guys are done with this go ahead and zoom right into the project So it's going to be comfortable to work with so then hit on this key keyframe button right over here So once you guys press on it it's going to allow us to create an animations on and on our project so basically go ahead to the beginning of project and hit on this plus button which is going to allow us to create a brand new keyframe and then go ahead and just move the time had the play ahead around like 0.5 seconds or you can make it one second but for this video I'm going to be using 0 0.5 seconds press on this keyframe button and as you can see we created this keyframe on the play ahead so basically go ahead and take the uh, landscape and make sure that that you kind of scale it down or just move it down right over here so I guess that's enough and as you can see if you move the video you will find out that we created this animation then go ahead to the end of the project press on it and go ahead and hit on this key button and then go ahead and add a new keyframe and then make sure that you kind of scale it uh, you can transform it even lower so as you can see it's going to move low just slowly which is what we need and then go ahead and just add a new landscape from the media just like that so go ahead and add it and once you guys are done go ahead and just make sure that it is full uh, screen just like that so once you are guys are done go ahead and make sure that you bring it to back so make sure that you actually do that because it's really important so as you can see you'll be having this effect so now we are going to be creating an animation for the background landscape so press on it and make sure that you go ahead and go to the exact same time that we created our first keyframe and then go ahead and just make sure that you go ahead and press on this uh, key button right over here so once you guys press on it go ahead and create this brand new keyframe right over here and then go ahead to the end of the project just like that and make sure that you move the background up just like this and then if you move the playhead as you can see we'll notice that we created this illusion which actually looks pretty good so now we have to set a base for the video that we are going to be putting in our outro so go ahead to backgrounds and choose the background that you like for example this one right over here so once you guys are actually done go ahead and just select the first layer that we created in this project and then press on these three dots on the left of the screen and then go ahead and hit on bring to front so as you can see now this layer is going to be in front and the video will be in the back which going to kind of make the illusion look pretty realistic as you can see so once you guys are actually then we can go ahead and just just zoom it in into the project and go ahead and transform this uh, layer right over here so go ahead and create a, a keyframe where, wherever the heck you guys would like it to be for example if you want it to be right here or here so I think I'm going to put it right over here and as you can see go ahead to the beginning of the layer and drag it down below the screen and as you can see we'll be having this uh, effects right over here or this animation sorry so that looks really good and you can do the exact same thing for a social media icon that you guys would like to put on your outro for example i did put right over here facebook and if you guys would like to do any other social media go ahead and do it so as you can see right over here the animation looks pretty good and then you can go ahead now and just add a text and in this text go ahead and put the social media name for example my social media media name is cnu so i did put cnu right over here and as you can see you can change the font and give it an animation for example a wipe for example 
let's go ahead and put the wipe left uh, animation and the time set to around 0.5 and as you can see it's looking pretty good I did the exact same amount of process with the Google Plus icon right over here so as you can see it's looking pretty good and you can go ahead and add any social media that you guys prefer for example you want, if you want to put Instagram or Snapchat you can go ahead and do it it's all up to you and for the last step you need to go, you need to go ahead and put a good song for the outro so you can choose whatever song you want make sure it's not copyrighted and you can go ahead and add it and for example that's looking pretty good so i think i'm actually done with the outro so if you end you must have something like this <laughs> So as you saw guys the outro is looking pretty good and you can go ahead and add more customizations for example you can just change the background i did put it like white here you can go ahead and just put it blue or just make sure that you change the color of the city it all depends on your creativity so thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope that you guys did enjoy this video if you did go ahead and just drop a like down below that will mean the world for me and also guys check my channel out because there is a lot of amazing and daily videos in there subscribe to my channel if you enjoy me already and i'll see you guys next time peace out